How to add sound effects on the video you're editing using the VN Video Editor app. This is with the late 2024 update, so be sure you have the latest update and let's get started. When you're ready to add your first sound effect, you'll want to go to the part that says tap to add music, this line right here, okay? You're tapping on the icon itself, and when you do this here, this is where you'll see the option to choose between music, effect, and record. So you want to go to effect, which is the sound effects, okay? So you do get a few good ones here that's for free, and you're going to be in this section here. Going to my audio will pull out sound files or so from your file itself, okay, that you have saved on your device. So maybe I want to choose one of these here. I'm going to go ahead with one of the machines here. Now, when you're in each category, every single one of these here will have a different set of um, time duration, okay? Some are the same, some are not, but you'll know the difference by reading the time here, okay? So this one here is seven seconds, four seconds, one second, 11 seconds, and I'm just letting you be aware of it. So maybe I want to add like a keyboard sound, okay? And when you're ready to do that here, you can tap on it here and you can hear it, okay? So you can tap on it itself to hear it before you use it. Then when you're ready, if, you, that, if that's what you want, go with use. And it's gonna appear like this right here, okay? Now, if you wanna move this to another part of your video, let's say you add the sound effect and it didn't go where you want it to be. It's kind of tricky, but you kind of have to pull it down like this here, okay? When it's faded down like that, that's when you can move it over to another part, okay? And after the, the last update, it made it this way, okay? So you'll have to do it that way to move it where you want on your video, okay? Now, other than that, once it's selected here, if the sound effect is just way too long, you can go about trimming it by pulling on these tabs here to make it shorter, okay? You cannot make it longer or, or more than the amount of time that it's provided, okay? For some reason, you can't pull it, okay? Because once it gives you seven seconds, then it's gonna be seven seconds. You can't make it any longer, okay? Now, if you want, you can adjust the volume of it. If it's too loud, you can go to the volume here. And this has to be selected so that the settings can apply to that. So I wanna make this lower. I'll have to lower the volume by using this here, okay? And you just press a check mark. And if you have multiple sound effects and you, you made some changes, you can go with apply to all, and that's gonna apply to all the sound effects, okay? You can also have the sound effects start fade in and fade out just as if you were adding a song to the video, okay? Now on top of that here, you can undo anything that you made a mistake with the sound effects that you're editing by using this here. So you can just undo everything here. And maybe that sound effect, you wanna remove a little part of that sound effect. Maybe you just don't like all the sound effect here. You can go about removing a part of it by using the split tool. So tap on the sound effect, and then maybe, maybe you wanna remove like the middle part here. So bring the white bar here, the timeline over, press on split, and then I wanna remove the next part, like maybe right here. Okay, I'll tap here and split. And then now I just wanna move, remove this little part right there, make sure it's selected, and then I'll delete that part, okay? That's gonna remove the center part. And then you just have to pull it down like we did earlier to kind of bring it over to the left or the right side, okay? And that's how you would go about doing it. And let's just say now, you made so much changes to that one sound effect, and then you want that same sound effect with all those edits or changes in another area, but you wanna keep this one here. So simply just press duplicate once it's selected, and you'll have yourself a second copy here, and just do the same thing. Hold it down, and then bring it over to another part of the video, and you'll have that same edited sound effect in another area of your video, okay? And then of course, go about saving your video that way. Like and sub.